This video is going to cover the basics of dashboard management in Active Demand. One of the most powerful features of Active Demand is its ability to present data as actionable information in the format of user defined dashboards. So this video is going to cover the basic concepts of the dashboards, the saving, sharing dashboards, administration of dashboards, and of course setting dashboards for some of your sub-users. So technically a dashboard, and I'll show you them in a few seconds here, is made up of multiple tabs. A tab is, uh, you'll have multiple widgets on tabs, an individual widget will have a time range, uh, drill down report for some of them, and as well sizing, position, etc. Each user who logs into Active Demand uh, has the ability to change their dashboard, customize their dashboard, uh, uh, save their dashboard, share their dashboard, all of these types of things. Um, an administrator can go in and reset somebody's dashboard or for new users, create a template dashboard so when the user logs in, they don't have to go through the process of wondering what are the best KPIs, etc. So I'm going to delve right into things. Um, what you're seeing before you is a login uh, and it's a very simple dashboard. This is typically the type of dashboard somebody sees uh, for the first time in a, in a new account. You have this uh, tutorial widget. So again, the dashboard is a personal dashboard. So if somebody else logs in, um, they will may see a different dashboard. They can customize their dashboard and it will not impact any other users. So really, like I said before, the uh, dashboard is uh, dashboard consists of tabs, and you can add tabs by clicking this little icon over here. You can name your tabs uh, um, as as well as rearrange any of the widgets on the tabs, etc. So on a tab, you can add dashboard widgets, and depending on your account type, there's many different types of widgets available. So if you click this icon right here it will bring up this dialog which will allow you to choose from some of the predefined widgets uh, available in your account. And I can, you can go ahead and just choose any of them like for example this map widget here. And you can reposition the widgets, you can resize the widgets, you can maximize the widgets etc. Like I said before, each widget has the sizing capabilities. It has a, some widgets have a date time range that uh, you can set up for the widget. Uh, as well, some widgets have drill down reports. You can as well uh, maximize the widget to cover the entire screen. You can delete the widget, etc. On a new tab, uh, you have this button here, which is identical to the icon right here. Both of them give the ability to add widgets to your dashboard. This account that I'm showing you has no data, hence none of the widgets will be having data. And if you look at some of the widgets, like I said before, they will have a drill down report. You can click on this little gauge right here. This indicates that this particular widget would have a drill down report that will allow you to see the specifics of the individuals who are actually making up the data. Again, there's no data in this account right now, so hence there's no data here and there will be no data in the drill down report. So once you've built a dashboard configuration that uh, you like, for example, maybe this is your sales dashboard uh, configuration. You're able to save the dashboard configuration by clicking this gear icon up here on the top right. If you click here, you have the option to save the current dashboard and this will save the configuration of the widgets. It will save uh, the number of tabs, the uh, names of the tabs, uh, etc. So you can really build and customize several dashboards and switch between the dashboards depending uh, what it is you're trying to achieve. So I'll go, I'm going to go ahead and save this dashboard. And once the dashboard is saved, I can change the dashboard, get rid of some tabs and go back and load a dashboard that was saved before. And voila, 
the dashboard configuration is reloaded. You may want to share a dashboard with other people within your account. So if I click this, this will make this dashboard available to others in your company account. So now some of my uh, the other employees in this account can access this dashboard and they can as well share and save their dashboards as well as again switching and choosing this dashboard that I created for them. It's important to note that when you save a dashboard, you're just saving the configuration of the dashboard at that specific point in time. And when you load a dashboard, it loads that configuration onto the screen. So if I change any configuration on my screen, it has no impact on the dashboard that I've saved. Now I'm going to talk about administering dashboards across user accounts. To do this, you have to be logged in as an administrator. So the administrator has created a dashboard that he thinks will be useful for other users, saved the dashboard, and shared the dashboard. Now he has the ability to go into somebody else's uh, user profile and set the dashboard. And the way you do that is browse to the account settings by clicking the button here, which will bring you to the account settings for this vendor Windows account, for example. One of the other users is Joe Smith. And to access Joe Smith's account, basically the administrator would click this icon here. This will bring you to Joe Smith's user profile. And as you see here, Joe Smith's user profile has a dashboard dropdown. And basically the administrator can go ahead and choose this as Joe Smith's dashboard. So the next time that Joe Smith logs in, the dashboard will be the one that was just assigned to, to Joe. If the account that is being used is an agency account, and an agency account will typically have several sub-accounts, the administrator has a choice of creating dashboards for any one of the sub-accounts, which will make the dashboard available to all of the users in that sub-account, or setting global dashboards that are available to all users for all sub-accounts. So if this was an agency account like this is, and the login person here, Active Demand, uh, is an employee of the agency account, the administrator can set global dashboards by going to the All Accounts setting and building a dashboard in the global space, saving the dashboard as a uh, global dashboard, and sharing this dashboard. Now this dashboard that's been created will be available to all users in all sub-accounts. This may make sense for basic dashboards that uh, fit all accounts, but as most agencies, many of the client accounts are unique and therefore have unique dashboard requirements. So the best choice for an agency is typically to drill down to the specific account and set the dashboards up in that account and share them in that account, and then all of the users of that account will have access to the dashboards that have been saved. Anybody who's created a dashboard and saved the configuration can go ahead and delete the configuration as well. This will have no impact on any of the dashboards that have been assigned to users because really the setting of the dashboard sets that configuration at that point in time. Then you can go ahead and delete the configuration. Uh, all that really does is removes the configuration as an option for somebody to load. Because again, the saving of a configuration is exactly just that. It's saving a snapshot of a dashboard at a specific point in time. And somebody can load that dashboard into their dashboard space change it, configure it, do whatever, uh, it will have no impact on the saved configuration. And if you delete the configuration, it really has no impact on the current user's dashboards. That concludes this video of dashboard administration.